I'm Amanda. Um, I'm 24 and I suffer from psoriasis. I have suffered psoriasis pretty much my entire life. Um, started out when I was younger. My parents um, thought maybe I had cradle cap. Um, it's really scaling um, scalp and stuff. Um, when I was about eight or nine, I then went to the doctor because I had scaling behind my ears. Um, I got the whole make sure you're washing behind your ears really well for my mom. Um, and the doctor still didn't know what it was. So he had me see a dermatologist um, who still really didn't think it was psoriasis at this point. Um, it wasn't until I was about 17 that I had a really major um, outbreak of strep throat, like six or seven outbreaks in a six month period. Um, so one night I developed this rash all over my body it was it itched it burned it was it was hell so I went to the emergency room and they were a little stunned but after doing some research they told me that it was gutate psoriasis um, I went back to my dermatologist with this and she said she didn't think it was gutate psoriasis gave me some topical creams to try um, and that cleared up I've not had that kind of psoriasis since then um, I've had my tonsils out and everything I suffer from plaque psoriasis though all over my body my scalp um i don't know if you guys can tell obviously you can see the flakes in my hair but um the lighting's not the greatest but my face and my scalp are the worst offenders um my elbows my elbows um ever since i was little um have always been rough and scaly and gross um, I have a big patch on my leg here. That I've had for quite some time. Um, it started out about the size of a dime and grew and grew and grew. And so now, as you see, it's clear in the middle, but I still have this. It just keeps spreading, I guess. Um, so, like I mentioned earlier, I've tried topical creams and ointments that were both over-the-counter um, and prescription. I've tried prescription shampoos. Nothing, nothing helps. Um, so I finally went back to my dermatologist and I said, I'm, I'm at my wit's end. I'm frustrated. I don't know what to do. So she told me about a pill I could take and I was willing to, to do that. Um, the downfall is you couldn't drink while you were on it and let's be honest I'm young um, the other thing is I couldn't get pregnant while I was taking the pill or for three years after I finished that scared me because of the birth defects that could potentially be caused because of this pill okay so three years down the road I'll be 27 maybe I want kids by then so I wasn't willing to go that route um, then she told me about Embrel and Humira and things like that. So I decided I was going to go the Embrel route. So after fighting with my insurance company and the doctors and the pharmacies around town, I finally have my Embrel. It was delivered today. Um, I was a little disappointed, I'm not going to lie. I walked down the stairs and I didn't see a package. But as I was unlocking my door, my neighbors across the hall came out. Um, it was delivered to them because I wasn't home. Thank you. So, um, I have all of my stuff set up right now. This is my first injection. I'm pretty excited. So, let's, we'll just, we'll get at it. Um, so, I have my alcohol swab here. And I'm going, going to go on my thigh here. Um, I'm just going to clean the site really well. I'm hoping it doesn't burn like I've watched videos on. Alright, so on the end brow tip, there's a white um, plug. We're just going to pull that out. We'll throw that to the side. Oh lord, the needle in there, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a little scary looking, I'm not going to lie. Um, a little backstory on myself. I work in a hospital. I also went to school and learned how to draw blood. So I've had bigger needles stuck in me by 
people who don't really know what they're doing yet. So I'm just going to breathe and I think I can do this. So here we go. And they say to hold it until you see the purple. So here we go. One, two, three. Oh, okay, it burns a little bit. Not going to lie. So it got the click. I'm going to go ahead and pull out. There's not really anything there. I mean, you can see where it was at, but that's about it. So I just injected myself with my very first Ambrel pen. If you can't tell by the look on my face, I'm pretty excited. Um, here's to hoping I see results. They told me about six months in is when people see the most um, change in their skin. Sometimes it's sooner than that, so I'm hoping I'll be sooner than that. Um, I'll do an update in about a month. Thanks.